I'll rise. Even as the pitiful killer waits for me, I breathe as out of my mother's womb. Eyes wide shut too open, heart beating new life rhythm, naked before faces of grandchildren, their offspring later covered in blood, two fingers in my mouth, mind not anchored in this, a massive space, no walls, no boundaries, kicking far, the stretch to take me, cradled in the dreams within me. Kicking, no one asks a baby. What is thought? Not all demons are seen in their natural light. Not all demons are seen equally by evil hearts. They're seen only by themselves. My master who loves me, how plentiful the instruments given me. To live, no one spared when Nana pampered. A crown, jewels into thorns, protected from the fall, from the drink that could end it all. Where I awaited, strong hands to lift me. A hand that cares has chosen. Brothers and sisters, love and complex simplicity is availed even for the foolish. So even as my pitiful killer waits for me, I breathe flowing out of your mind. You said, let there be she, whose dust will lie fresh upon the earth I bless with rain. Her mistakes will be righted. The one they ask after isn't she who tarries in the houses of Bacchus, whose lips hurl truths we're not ready to hear? Soul of many minds. I who loves you tells you this, that even as the pitiful killer waits for you, he is a door to me. I'll rise. He who made me by breaking me, the one I've loved with all I understand to the word. He is not the one cheering me on in the front row. He who does not read the only language I've mastered to communicate in. And yet, here I am, in love beyond a doubt. I used to get angry at the whispered cheering. Then I became my own cheerleader. I used to be saddened by the conversations he would not want to have. I became my own best friend. After all this time, he whose beauty I celebrate and thank God for every morning. He has never called me beautiful. He plundered all the fake confidence I had just in time to have me learn to love myself. For now I know I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am enough. I am worth it. You think with all he has taught me by default, I'll leave. But all I want is him. He who breaks my heart by misunderstanding my heartstrings. Without him, I wouldn't know how to walk alone amongst company. Without him, I never would have learned much about my self-worth and just how far I can take myself. He has made me strong because he loved me in a language I am yet to understand. I promise I will not walk away this time around. My strong self and I find that that's the only reason we stick around most of the time. He who did not love me the way I thought love was to be sung is the one who taught me how to dance alone.
I never want to be a disgrace, I will rise. When I fall, I'll get up, and because I'm part of that race, I will rise. I will rise, and when I'll get to the top, I'll do it my own pace, I will rise. Society judges me because I don't go their ways, but I will rise. I am wise because of the olden days that I'll engrave the emancipation, make sure it stays. I will rise. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. This comes with so much I couldn't believe there was such. It came vividly in a blur shape, no weird act with his vicious vibes. Voided reactions upon rejections, the amount of admiration and confusion. Wiped away by strong temptation, their cryptic crisis is a thought of contemplation, also wiped away by strong temptation. All I'm doing now is praying for deliverance and salvation. My heart is broken, there's no more love awoken, but I will not, I will just Rise up. Sometimes I look at a picture for so long that I almost become a part of it. I stop moving just to avoid messing up a thing in it. You were that picture my eyes got lost in. Your canvas was the coffin I begged to be buried in. Every breath that you let out, I took in. Every word from your mouth became my offering to the King of Kings. Every word from your mouth became my offering to the King of Kings. You were the oxygen to my lungs within. Your wisdom I drank in until my thyroid would only sing out your name. Everybody always talks about their first kiss. But when our lips touched, it felt like I knew that was the last time that I'd ever feel so much. Sex with you was sitting on the phone for 10 hours, not saying one word meant to make me come, yet I'd still find myself in waves by the beach shores, alone. Because you were just never there in the physical. Your obsession with coming across as mythical became pitiful. I became cynical. I drank more. I reached for someone else's heart because you were letting mine sink to the floor. <sighs> Looking back at it, at one point I think I resented you so much that I thought it was, I thought it was love. I, I was, I was dis disillusioned. I actually thought that, you know, we were honey, but it turns out that we were just a little buzz. And I had really had enough. We were sick within and it got tiring to keep trying to fix things. So, I stepped with someone to numb the agony. I could never do it again. I mean, he was, he was just meat and bones and I was vegetarian. Conversating with him, I was Usi and Balt and he was walking at the pace of a pedestrian. So do you see how I've learned my lesson then? Is all that I'm saying sinking in? Am I still number one in your search engine? Are you still going to tell me quotes from your favorite authors? Or have we beyond crossed the borders? When I was young and understood very little beyond sunrise and sunset, I often asked you how you felt knowing of my arrival. You were young enough to remember, old enough to calculate the cost of another baby. I, offspring of the moon and sun, only did not notice the lack of enthusiasm. Then there was more loss that could ever that could cover the accumulated gain. Brothers, sisters, huge age gap meant we looked to you. 
I didn't expect much, but thanks for not ignoring my tears. And then? You hustled your way out of the small house of limited dreams. I was at least now of the moon and sun. But you just became the cooler younger parent. Whilst mother scrambled for the basics and mourned her soulmate, you remember the little hot things. My birthdays, my prom dress, my first poetry book. Now that I can add one plus one, how many nights out did you sacrifice for me? For any of us, the horde of little people who can only afford to dream because of mother and you. And then? You didn't see how worn out you were. Life lines us like that until you had your own little sister in the making. Now my rent is your baby's education fund. You do know I know how to add and multiply. I know of the stars and the earth beneath it, just like I know of your dreams. Walk away, young cooler parent. I have dreamed this far because you carried me. Can you draw the line between your childhood and the tragedy of adulthood? Can you remember a time when you weren't wiping our tears or researching ways for us to go forward? Walk away, big sister, we gawk at. When our pleas and requests start stealing your baby's future, we are just black ticks, and it was never mandatory to pay. You paid with love, and now I exempt you. Dream freely with our little baby girl. Okay, let's play a game. Let's play a game, a little game called Simon Says. Simon Says wait. Wave. Everybody's waving. Okay, everybody's waving. Okay, stop waving. Simon says stop waving. Okay. It's good that you're doing what Simon says, but I keep asking who exactly is Simon that says, and why do we always go his ways, and who made sure this man say, stays, and I always ask, who made, when is Simon's last days? Okay. Simon says stand, stand up, baby girl. Simon says go to the bar. Simon says, enter the stranger's car. Simon says, climb out, pee on the tar. Simon says, get back in that car. Excellent, you're doing what Simon is saying. Simon says, drink, 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 don't think, drink, mix the liquor, anything he'll bring. Okay, now look at him and wink. When I said he, you know I meant Simon, right? Yes, we're still playing this Simon game late at night. You've been a bad girl, and Simon says at the stranger's house you'll spend the night. Hold up, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Like something is wrong, like Simon is dying. Like the man in bed wasn't the one buying. Like you didn't choose this Simon game you're playing. Get up. The Simon game is not for soft hearts. Get naked. This man needs to see your body parts. Wipe your tears and keep composure. Make sure this lasts. We need to get your license revoked. And little girl, you need to be woke. I'm too full of myself to be into you. I'm too crazy about me to mentally connect with you. In fact, I'm just too full of myself to even be craving you. Can you imagine? I'm 32 years old and as childless as an empty placenta. It's only been me in this body for as long as I can remember. I am so over these brothers trying to wife me with your sewage filled letters with your jokes from a nigga called Trevor to try to ease into me in this cold weather. They offer me love making, they offer me cheddar, 
It's like they never had any options. They're just used to being beggars. They say my life must be cold because I spent winter nights on my own. My own rental. I mean, best believe I'd rather that than their dirty floors. Their dirty shower doors covered with their dirty semen intended to break my human. These brothers have got me twisted like I wasn't born straight. Like I wasn't snowflake when 264 was covered in coke waves. Now I never snuffed them coke things. I just admired how drug dealer circles were tighter than a lot of rings. And more solid than anything a lesbian ever offered me. But I understand, I mean, I know, I know nothing's for free. So that's why I don't like, you know, I don't do those hit me up favors, those text me later. No. I mean, if I'm gonna send a text, like especially if I'll send like an I love you text, I send that to my conscience. God complex ain't no nonsense. So please keep your how to keep a man comments in the lowest drawer of your moments. And don't ask me to look back at those relationships which didn't last. I mean, my future does not include in me recreating the past or revisiting my drafts and giving second chances to brothers who lost their game before they even got to second half. In fact, this, this half-half, there is no half-half in the love that I am searching for. I, I want us to be whole and whole, soul to soul. I want us to be elevating in that illmatic knowledge that only Nazir Jones can kick. dead goals, seize one or two, embrace them, kiss them, recite a poem or two, they might just come back to life, and we can move on, move forward, just gotta keep on keeping on. I like the indifference with which you lovingly caress my hopes and dreams. She slouches, feeling too big, sudden eyes, feeling too small. When she's not floating with glazed eyes, she is missing your skin. Just to feel it is okay. She's gotten to understand your body more than your words. She wants to hang upside down and have the sun block out her blemishes. Sigh, exhale, slouch much, stare into oblivion. She floats a few paces above me with most of my heart and soul. She, with most of my heart and soul, in times of uncertainty and vague knowledge of self and destiny, I exhale and stay up. Face in heat again, but I procrastinate the labor pains. I just want her back with me. So we slump in the beauty of our majesty. I grow weary of inhaling just to exhale and gawk. All you gotta be is a little bit strong. Just be strong, just hold on. You gotta be strong, just be strong and hold on. They often say this are misconceptions. But how else do you want to call it? Like that's full of deceptions and this pathological lies that leave lives of contextual isolations. This is me thinking the thought I thought, I thought. But it leads me to a situation of what is my name and why am I not the same? And then it hits me. I realize that this is the game I play as called reality, as the game of change. Change now, or you lose your name. And I'm always devastated at the sound of people screaming, I can't, and I'm, I'm unable to. And they always tell me I will fail. But because I hold on and be strong, you will never fail. Brush 
brushing my teeth, dropping my toothbrush. I believe in the five second rule, so I just pick it right back up. The backup plan is to write a few lines all day. I'll keep my phone off. That's a sheep poet, they'll say. Can't plan their future, can't plan ahead, but they'll keep those words in their heart until they're dead. Midday heat accelerates the thought process. She who dares speak out in rhyme and rhythm. Hail a taxi, run errands. Make hay whilst the, stands, the sun still shines. Hustle, contour lines merge. Is she a poet? Sits next to a stranger, smiles and nods. Pardon me, do I smell like a movement in the making? Never mind, pardon me. Who are you to set the bar, make the rules? We, the she poets, only come to full circle once it becomes apparent we do not need validation. It's been a long day. As I start to pick up my lifts and do my squats, they ask, is she a poet? The she poet? So I drop that and go to the kitchen because that's what they expect a female to do, right? They ask, is she a she poet? The she poet? As I go to the dinner table, forgetting to cook, I opt to have my black notebook and my pan for dinner. As I thought out all the food for thought I placed in my mouth during the day, they ask, is she a poet? The she poet? Now I'm done with all that, kneeling down to end my day and say goodnight, and tomorrow leave them to keep asking, is she a poet? Yes, yes she, she is, is a poet. poet. And by the way, we, we are fully constructed. constructed.